the thing I love about Islam when it comes to sexuality is the centering of women's pleasure. And it goes against everything that people believe about Muslim women. But the way a woman's pleasure is truly centered in Islam, yeah. I, I believe that's why we have so many Islamic spaces where people are like, oh, you know, Sister Angelica, we can't invite you to the masjid. Like the brothers sometimes are shook because if you really look at the fiqh, if you look at the ahadith, if yeah. you look at the life of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his advice to his companions and his advice to the, to the people, women are centered. And yes. I love that so much. And it's yes. not centered to a fault. It's not a selfish centering. It is a true acknowledgement and an upliftment of the complexity of a woman's body. You know, do not go into your wife, you know, harsh, you know, without sending emissaries, kisses and sweet words. I mean, I, I always tell sisters, if you want a romance story, read about the the, the wives of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he was with them. You know, just the small things. I love that Islam focuses so much on the importance of intimacy, not just sex, but, you know, right. are you are you drinking from the same cup that your wife drank from and you're finding the place where she put her lips? You know, when she's on her menstrual cycle, are you laying your head in her lap as she strokes your head? These are these are real life accounts from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I love that. And it's the, the liberation doesn't come from what I say. When people challenge me, I take them to the book. This is what the fix says. Yes. This is what the hadith says. This is what the Quran says. So that that is what I love the most. And 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 in addition to you know those two things, I love the emphasis on family and connectedness. I love that there is a dua that a man can make before he is intimate with his wife. And the dua is asking that if any children were to come from this union, please make them righteous and on the path. Like what What more can you ask for? What can, more can you ask for? Yeah, it's amazing how, how normal, like you, you mentioned fiqh. And I mean, yeah, I've come across things in studying. And when we talk about fiqh for people that aren't that aren't Muslim, it's like there's this big, like, scary word, like Sharia law, Sharia law. <laughs> and it's funny because every like they say it's so weird. They do like Sharia law. Like, what is that? Oh, you mean the Sharia? Right. But I also think sometimes, and this is like fitting for this conversation, but the way they say it reminds me of my Sharia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Sh Sharia law. <laughs> and like you, you have no idea what Shadi uh, really is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, it, and basically, and when we study it, you know, uh, one of the things that I've seen in studying the rights of women in marriage is like women have so many rights and women start out like that's the default for women to have so many rights and then if the husband is able to fulfill those things then it's an obligation to do if he can't fulfill them then it's always a work of like how do i get to the point where i can fulfill these rights mm -hmm. and one of the rights that i've come across is that women have the right to climax yeah like that's a right that women have in yep. in in marriage you know and malachi and, Fick is up to yes, up to three times a day Hey. To her, <laughs> Look, to her specification, and I'm Meliki, so. <laughs> and and you, and you know, it's funny. My wife came home, so I'm, we we live in Turkey because of my wife, and my wife is a therapist, Mashallah. and uh, she came here for Rihla. And she came back and she said, someday we're going to live in Istanbul. This is almost ten years ago. She said, someday we're going to live in Istanbul, and we're Maliki. <laughs> And since then we've been Maliki. And what I found out, I was like, I said, is this uh, a? Yeah, does this have anything to do yeah. with? The <laughs> She's a smart woman. You married a smart woman. Mashallah, man. Love bless her. <laughs> I mean.